G'day, Space Cadets. Have you been thinking about this episode since this morning? Look at you. Congratulations. You've almost made it to Friday. We're here to make the end of your week a bit brighter. Cheeky devil. I'm Casey Donovan, together with our writer, Amy Malloy. Tonight, we're getting a little X-rated. Hmm. Settle in. Put your headphones on if there's kids about. We're talking about spectator sex. According to the sexperts who coined the term, spectatoring is watching yourself have sex. Not actually watching yourself, but being hyper aware of how you look or feel to the other person present. Spectatoring is usually accompanied by an anxious internal self-conscious dialogue. They must be bored. God, I'm taking too long to come. I better look fat. Our sex life used to be better than this. When we're spectatoring, it's like we're floating above ourselves and not in a kinky mirror above the bed sort of way. We're like the meanest director of a porno film, pointing out all of our flaws And that means we're definitely not in the moment. So how can we stop watching and start enjoying? Step one, do a little bit of self-exploration. No, we're not talking about masturbation. Although you can certainly do that too. We don't judge here. Think about where your sexual self-doubts started. Did you always feel this way? Was there one moment or one partner that made you doubt yourself? How safe or trusted do you feel with this particular person? Is your sexual doubt linked to someone else? Maybe you're feeling lesser in your job or criticising yourself as a parent. Starting to pay attention to where your doubts come from can help us to talk back to them. When you get into bed, or whenever you're getting frisky, put your inner critic to one side. Literally, imagine putting that voice on your bedside table. Put it in a box and shut the lid. You stay there until we've climaxed. Step two, make it less about you. According to researchers, spectatoring is an intense self-focus during sexual interactions. The good news is you can choose to pay attention to something or someone else. This can take practice if you're used to being stuck in your own head. Here's one way you can practice. When you're getting down and dirty, focus on your senses. Notice one thing you can see, one thing you can touch, one thing you can hear, one thing you can smell, one thing you can taste. Get your partner in on the act if you want to. It can become quite a sexy bit of foreplay. Step three. Be your own wingman or wingwoman. There's a good chance your partner thinks you're amazing. It's the opinion you have about yourself you need to shift. We love these pep talks from sexologist Dr. Jill McDevitt. I am full of sexual energy. I am full of sexual confidence. I am sexually and emotionally thriving. I pay attention and listen to what my body needs. I am confident and comfortable in my sexual identities. The moral of this sex story? Stop floating up near the ceiling and land back in your body. You 
don't know what you're missing out on. Because you are a hottie. Now go and get it. I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space, a podcast written by Amy Malloy. Tune in tomorrow for our fabulous Friday episode. It's International Coffee Day. How a simple cup of coffee could banish your loneliness. Tune in to find out. Space out. Space out.